Hello everybody, today is the anniversary of the birth in 1928 of Che Guevara, who has become an iconic symbol of, uh, of revolution. He started off in Guatemala as a young man where he supported the government there uh, until it was overthrown by a coup which was supported and instigated by the Americans. And this um, it was the beginning of the solidification in him of, a, of an ideology which was very anti-American, anti-imperialist. Uh, and he travelled around a number of different countries in Central and South America working on the side uh, opposing uh, American involvement in those countries uh, and eventually took part in the coup uh, which liberated uh, Cuba from American uh, influence uh, and he held office in the government of Cuba for some years doing a lot of really good work um, organizing changes to the system which would help poorer people. Uh, eventually he moved on uh, and became involved in revolutionary activity in a number of different countries until finally uh, in Bolivia where he was um, supporting a revolution he was captured and summarily executed. But he had, in the meantime, through his writings, which were prolific, through his public speeches, including one at the United Nations, where he was invited to speak as a representative of the government of Cuba, uh, through the reputation that the, that the news media began to give him, he had developed this stance as a, as a stereotypical revolutionary and someone who just uh, was determined to change the system uh, so that those who are, were underdogs in society um, became supported and, and encouraged and helped uh, in a way that capitalism uh, didn't do, generally speaking. I uh, mention him today because this photograph um, taken by uh, Alberto Corda in 1960 um, was, 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 uh, has become, uh, according to, to some uh, people, the, the most uh, recognisable photograph in the world. Uh, it's uh, a picture which Corda says he took and which he thinks became so, um, so well known because it combined in it, in his face, uh, both the pain and the sorrow that goes along with being awareness of how much poverty there is in the world, um, alongside a complete implacability and determination to do something about it. And I, I thought to myself those are qualities that I would like to emulate uh, to really be able to identify with, 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 with that poverty that still exists uh, uh, and to be determined to do something about it. Of course, it's a very different world now from um, the world of the 1960s. Um, and revolution, uh, which was in the air in the late 60s, uh, is, is now not something that anybody talks about. And yet still we in a society which desperately needs changing because there is so much injustice, so much imbalance of its wealth. And so today, um, not, not using Che Guevara's methods, which uh, um, he was very happy to use violence to overthrow the establishment, uh, and I feel so comfortable about that. But his ideals are ones that I want to remind myself of and continue with as I sense the pain of poverty in others and the determination that I share with many to make it a better world.